Thank you for attending this free motion quilting tutorial. I'm demonstrating circuit board day 14 quilting filler and right here at the beginning uh, my stitching lines are about 3 16 of an inch apart so they're pretty wide and I'm stretching out the quilting pretty long um, about an inch to uh, you know even an inch and a half that's how long my stitch like the the length of the stitches are didn't really look the effect that filler was getting so I broke off and started a little bit denser and in this situation my stitches are much closer together they're about an eighth of an inch apart and the length of the stitch is much smaller um, the longest I'm getting here in this situation is about a half of an inch maintaining consistency is really the key here and um, a good way of doing that is to draw this filler on paper first and practice it a couple times get it kind of ingrained in your brain before you try and quilt it but once you actually start quilting it, it goes together pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, it, think of it almost like stippling, only with straight lines and corners. Um, if you have any desire to try more free motion stitches, please check out my two websites, freemotionquilting.blogspot.com and daystyledesigns.com. Thank you.